Welcome to another edition of Mark's Inspiration. Got the D-Man here, and I'm glad you could join me as always. Cloudy and cool in St. Louis, Missouri today. Hope it's a great weather wherever you are in the world. And today's topic will be a continuation of how to become a high-status man. High-status men have more choice when it comes to women than when it comes to everything in life. For one thing, they believe in themselves, and thus, by believing in themselves, they believe they deserve the best in life, and it is attracted to them. They feel like they deserve it, and when they achieve it, they receive it, and they don't self-sabotage. It reminds me of the old saying, if you inherit a million dollars, or if you win a million dollars in the lottery, you better become a millionaire. Because unless you have the consciousness to accept it, it will soon be gone. And if you don't believe that, look up on the internet what has happened to many people who have won the lottery. They did not have the consciousness of a multi-millionaire. And many of them ended up in debt and more financially distressed than they were before they won the money. Contrary to what they were probably thinking when they got the money, that their life would be smooth, easy, and wonderful afterwards. The managing of large amounts of money takes great care. It's a big responsibility. If you can't manage and handle what you have today, how can you expect to have more? <clears throat> with that being said, we will continue with this article I found on how to become a high-status male. Number nine, smash that like button and subscribe and thank you for joining me. Walk slowly. What's the rush? Slow down. When you walk slowly, you start noticing your surroundings. You become more mindful, living in the present moment. The high status person is not in a rush to do anything. If you must walk faster, be quick, but don't hurry. Each step is mindful as you kiss your feet against the floor. Kiss your feet against the floor. I've never heard that one before. Interesting. Number 10, don't be easily impressed. Are you looking at the Mona Lisa? No, okay, then why are you so impressed? I looked at the Mona Lisa, I was unimpressed. It wasn't nearly as big as I thought it was and you couldn't get very close to it. And there were so many people around. I actually enjoyed many other things in the Palace of Versailles much more than the Mona Lisa. Maybe there were too much of a buildup for it. I was expecting more, maybe. I don't know more of what, but... Okay. Stop responding to the mundane as if you just heard the news that Pluto <laughs> became a planet again. All right. Number 11. Demand attention when you talk. When conversing with another human being, make sure your words are landing on engaged ears. In Russian, there is a saying that translated means, do you hear me or are you just listening to me? Pause until you have their full attention. If they are distracted, don't continue the conversation. Number 12. Think big thoughts. I have some friends uh, called the Geetings. They have a pretty large company here in uh, the city. And they say, go big or go home. I remember that. That stuck with me. Number 12. Next time you are waiting, take this opportunity to think big thoughts. The high status person is bigger than their problems. Think about billion dollar problems. Think about your mission in life. Big thoughts fill your head. 
contemplate big ideas. There is no time to be grounded in reality. If it wasn't for the big thinkers throughout history, we would probably not be flying around the world. We definitely wouldn't be traveling to the moon and many other things that at one time people thought were impossible. The big thinkers were ridiculed, laughed at, made fun of. Some of them were even jailed. Some were even killed hundreds of years ago for their big thoughts. You don't have to worry about that today. So why are you afraid to think big thoughts? I would say people need to think bigger and not smaller. People need to think imaginatively, not realistically. Realistic thinking never accomplished anything. Big thinkers have created the world we have today. The comforts, the extras, the luxuries that you have if you live in a first world country, or you're blessed enough to have them in a third world country. Comfort doesn't always mean happiness though, which is obvious by looking at our United States. I think we have more people on antidepressants per capita than any other country in the world. I could be wrong about that, correct me if I'm wrong, but I read that somewhere. Don't believe everything you read, don't believe everything you hear, don't believe everything I tell you. Try out what I say, try it, see if it works for you. If it doesn't, discard it. Take what you need, leave the rest. Touch people. Be careful who you touch. Touch a shoulder and an elbow, give a hug, shake a hand, shake hands with people. It amazes me, I'm out a lot. I meet a lot of people. Few people will approach me first and shake my hand. Usually I'm the one that does it, but that's okay. You can be the one that does it. Step out, shake people's hands, introduce yourself, ask them what their name is. Ask them questions about themselves. Take an interest in other people. Get out of yourself. Find freedom from the bondage of self. The most successful people in the world serve the most people in the world. Whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant. Yes, those people who are extremely rich are some of the greatest servants in the world. They have provided people with products, services, or the like. That's how they became successful. There are no barriers to touching people. Make sure to use social awareness and absolutely no groping. <laughs> I haven't seen anybody grope for quite some time. It's all in the flow of conversation. It's called Kino. I touch people when I speak with them. 14. High status eye contact. Eyes are filled with warmth and tinge with a sense of aliveness. When you break eye contact, never look down. The key to high status eye contact is in the transition. Once you lock eyes with someone, never dart to the next target. Hold for three, two, one, and then very, very slowly look left or right. And I would say with women, as a man, when you're looking at women, wait until they look away. Now that doesn't mean you should burn a hole in them, staring at them, but it displays dominance. 15, do less, be more. Say a sentence without speaking. Move without moving, ask without asking. Sounds like Lao Tzu and the Tao Te Tao Te Chung, Tao Te Chang, Tao Te Chung. Ah, the Tao. I can't remember what it's called. Follow the law of least effort. What can you communicate in a sentence that used to take a paragraph? Do less, be more. Yes, many times saying more, or saying less is more. More is less. No, less is more. Less is more. I get confused there. Less is more. 16. Have a generous spirit. Everyone gets love. Pick up the bill, pour the drinks, invite people into conversations. It's a generous spirit that surrounds everything you do. 
living like this is an expression of having abundance in your life. And I will add to that, do it without expectations from the people you do it for, knowing it will come back to you multiplied somewhere down the road. The mistake people make when they give is they give with strings, wanting something back from the person. And I've done that too. So I can't say that I've, I haven't made that mistake. But usually you end up getting disappointed. So give freely without expectations. But with that being said, in a relationship, you need to see what's coming back to you. Not that you give tit for tat, as we say here. But if you're giving and giving and giving, and you're not receiving, they are not reciprocating, you may want to take another look at the relationship you're in with your significant other. It should not always be you giving or it should not always be them giving. There should be the give and take in intimate relationships or in business relationships. 17. Boundaries. While having this generous spirit and attitude, you have clear boundaries. You say things like, don't do that or don't behave like that. You have a generous spirit, but do not allow people going over your boundaries. The high status man is not afraid to, assert, to assert himself against challenges to the, th to the throne. <laughs> yes, boundaries are important. That's something I, I never really consciously thought about boundaries, but it is very important. Because if you allow someone to step over your boundaries, you're allowing them to treat you badly or devalue you or not respect you. And if you allow people to do that, it only gets worse and they disrespect you more and more. It never gets better. You must have boundaries in place and they must respect your boundaries or you walk away from those people. 18. Laugh loudly. The high status man doesn't hold back at all. Never again hold back your laugh, your smile. Show up fully. That means all of you. If he feels sad, he says it. If he's happy, he says it. The high status man is genuine. Well, I agree with that to some degree, but in certain situations, you don't need to be so open and vulnerable. I think you need to be realistic with yourself about your feelings, of course. Uh, but not everyone needs to know how you feel in certain situations. It could be detrimental to what you desire to achieve. And especially around your woman. She doesn't want to know if you've been sad for a week. Uh, she really doesn't care. She wants to know that you're going to be strong, you're going to protect her, you're going to take care of her, and you are the mountain, you are the rock, you are someone she can lean on and depend on, you are in control of your emotions, your feelings, and the situation. You control the frame, so to speak. 19. Shake hands correctly. I find this a lot in today's youth. Many of them don't know how to shake hands. Read this. A manly handshake and illustrated guide. Yes, learn how to shake hands. Very important. This is part of making a great first impression. Don't mess this up. It's simple, but not always easy. And we will stop on that today. I have my website up, marksinspiration.com. Check it out if you get a chance and you can learn a little more about me. Okay, that's all we're going to do for today. I hope this has been of value to you. And we will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.